Hello, welcome to Code Clink. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about ternary operator. Now, ternary operator is a way to write a concise conditional statement. So if you're not a fan of uh, using curly braces, then ternary operator will be a good one for you. So let's open our Visual Studio Code. Now, uh, let's make first an if else condition, conditional statement. So let's say you have a variable x. Let's say it has a value of 5. And then y has a value of 10. Now, if both of your variables are of integer data type, then you can make that in one line. You don't have to do it like this. You don't have to do it like this. So the lesser your code, the better. So you can put it in just one line. Okay, now we have our if else statement. If x is greater than y, your open and closing curly brace or curly bracket, put the closing curly brace below. If x is greater than y, then print x is greater than y. Else, again, curly braces or curly brackets, print y is greater than x. Now, um, whenever you use the FL statement, when you do this condition, you have to place a curly brace, an opening, and a closing. So um, every time you use an if else statement or if and else if, you have to use curly braces. Now, if you're not fond of using these, there's another way, and that is using ternary operator. So how do we convert ternary? this if all statement to a ternary operator. Now, a ternary operator, as you can see, has three operands. First is a logical condition, and then a value to return if it is true, and a value to return if it is false. So, we have a logical condition, say a logical condition, so x is greater than y. Then place a question mark. We're asking if x is greater than y. If it is true, and you place here, x is greater than y. Else, how are you going to do that? You place a colon. Then, if it is false, you're going to return y is greater than x, then semicolon at the end. Now, this is the logical condition. This is the value that we are going to return if it is true. And this is the value that we are going to return if it is false. Now, we're going to place the result in a variable since this values are this statement is a string then we are going to place that in a string variable string result equals x is greater than y then we are going to print the result let's save it let's run it so dart example dot dart so here, okay, we're gonna make this if all statement, make them as comments. So highlight them. 
and then press in your keyboard control forward slash. Let's save it. CLS and let's run it again. So Y is greater than X. Obviously, Y has a volume 10, so it's greater than X. Now, in this code, we don't use the curly braces or curly brackets. We're gonna, we're just going to use the ternary operator this way. So the logical condition, the value that we are going to return if it is true, else the value that we're going to return if it is false. So the result here, we're going to place in a variable result of string data type, and we're gonna print whatever values inside the result variable. This is if you're only having an if else conditional statement. But what if you have if, else if, and else? Like for example, here, if x is greater is equal to y, x is equal to y. Else, if x is greater than y, then we'll here in this statement, x is greater than y. And then, again, we'll have here else. Print. Y is greater than x. So here we have the first condition, if x is equal to y, then we are going to have this statement, print x is equal to y. Else if x is greater than y, then print the statement, x is greater than y. Else, if none of these two conditions are met, then it goes to this one, to else print y is greater than x. Now how do we convert this to a ternary operator? Simple. Here, we'll do the first condition. If x is equal to y, question mark, then we'll return x is equal to y. Else, or else if, you can use the colon for else or else if x is greater than y. Again, else return y is greater than x. Then at the end, we place a semicolon. So we have here red line. Yeah, because we forgot the condition. X is greater than Y, question mark. Yep. Here, okay. Now we have that. Okay. So, oh, I did nothing to that. Automatically, uh, VS Code tries to rearrange my code. So don't worry about that, it's a way to organize your code. So we have here the first condition, logical condition, question mark. So if it's true, we return this statement. Else, we use this colon. We have another logical condition, x is greater than y, question mark here. And then the statement, if it's true, else, and we have here the statement for the else. If you have other, um, let's say, other else if conditional, then you can just uh, do the same, add another condition, question mark, and then the statement if it is true. 
So that's it for the ternary operator. If you're not fond of using braces, then this one might be the right. Uh, this one, we, maybe you're comfortable to use this ternary operator. Save it, run it again. Here, y is greater than x. If we change x to 10, save, we run it again, then we have x is equal to y. Okay, now this is all for a ternary operator. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in my next videos. That's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one.